Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big sh- so it's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 my dad, walk on. Man, hey, man, listen, guys, make sure you stop, subscribe to the channel, make sure you join the membership, all that good stuff that we need to get done, man, in order for us to keep going, in order for us to see that you guys appreciate what we got going, okay? Make sure you tap in, man. Uh, today we got very, very special guests in here, and uh, they're not playing no games, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Miss Jamaica. Miss Jamaica, Lord mm-hmm. I'm this. over here. <laughs> Miss Jessica. What's up, what's up? <laughs> Back in the building. Back in the building. What's up, y'all? About to talk and that girl, Gelato, out of Alabama, Birmingham to be exact, right? Yes, sir. But you were born in L.A. I was born in Cali. What part of Cali? Oakland. Oakland, California. Oakland, yeah. Oakland, California. That's yes, where sir. too short from. <laughs> you don't know who that is. No, I don't. That's I crazy. I love it. <laughs> I was you know what I'm saying? You heard it too short. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. For real. I'm a little older, you know. I think I heard of it, but I don't know, like, I don't know too much. Man, that nigga can cuss. Cuss word is <laughs> one of his biggest songs. Just letting them know, motherfucking shit, goddamn asshole. <laughs> it, it, yeah. That's the way he, his song, that was his song. Yeah. And he just wanted to curse. You know, back in the days, you didn't really hear much cursing on music. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, Luke was one of the one, one of our pioneers for making it where people could really open up and talk about what they wanted to. And that's when you seen that little dis- parental discretion advice stamp on the on the album covers and stuff. Mm-hmm. That came from Luke and the, and the U.S. Like the government was trying to stop him from his music. From You know that? Yeah. Okay, I figured you Lame. Did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He stayed going with it. But anyway, man, we're going to get into it a little bit. Gelato, since it's your first time on the show, we want to just go into your background just a little bit. We ain't going to stay long. Okay, but before I get into your background, I got to ask Gelato something. Because how old are you again, Gelato? I'm 20. You're 20 years old. Yes, I am. So, what's the oldest guy you'll ever date? Ooh-wee, man. <laughs> what's the oldest guy you ever date, rich or poor? or what's, And what's the oldest guy you have ever dated? Okay, so the oldest guy I have dated was 43. Okay. And um, the oldest guy I would date, I'd probably stop at like 60. 60. Yeah. Because I looked up in the news and it says, how old is Bill Belichick? Look look at Bill, Bill Belichick. Belichick. How old is he? <laughs> because he is dating a 24-year-old cheerleader. 24. I guarantee you he's probably about maybe... I want to say about 70 some. Okay. That's what I think. 60s, late. Oh, he's 72. 72. I told, <laughs> and she's 24. Wow. So I'm I like. I ain't against it. And he got that bread. I'm not against it. So you but would, so would date a 72 year old? I'm not going to do it for the bread. I but do you it. already know in relationships like that, when you date, when young girls date older men, they going to say you in for the money. They going to say that, but I don't fuck what they say. I'm in there for the personality, for the vibes. I'm here. I'm bringing all the vibes. I'm bringing all the experiences. I am they last moments that they going to experience before they die. <laughs> Most likely, I'm going to give them the, the best. I'm going to give them the best experiences. <laughs> I definitely am. They going to remember me on their bed. So On their bed. <laughs> on their bed. Most definitely. Like, I can chill. I can chill. That might be their vibe. last moment, too. Yeah, and they going to appreciate and love that. Because I'm genuine. I'm not here for the money. I got money already. And when their kids are your age, because well, it comes with all that stress, too. You got to think about it. These kids are older than you or your age, and they're going to call you a stepmama? Maybe. Like, we might. We really, I feel like we could just vibe and go to the mall. You know the vibes. <laughs> like, I'm cool. If they want to have an issue, I'm just going to block them. But if we can, if we you can. You're going to block your kids. they not my kids. they they kids. And they but gotta, they going to be your stepkids. But if they want to be disrespectful, I don't have to deal with that. I, I guard my peace. But they're going to be a part of your family. Because these are the things that young kids, young girls, because it's more young girls who date an older man rather than young boys dating an older woman. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? As far as, I, I, as far as taking it serious and maybe, you know, marriage or whatever. That's what I've been seeing. Yeah. So that's why I'm like... You know, these are things you want to take in consideration. Unless you're just in it for the money, then you can just get what you get and get out. It's like, I'm going to guard my peace regardless. So if they, I'm cordial... I'm friendly, I'm bubbly, but if they want to be mean and want to be nasty, we could talk about it, we could try to talk it out. Mm -hmm. If they don't want to see eye to eye, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Well, let me move into your um, 
So you're born in Ray. You were born in Chicago, but raised. I was in, born in Cali. In, in sorry, Cali, <laughs> and raised in, in Alabama. In Birmingham. Alabama. How old were you when you moved to Alabama? Probably around five. Five. Yeah. So you don't remember a lot of things about Cali then. No, I couldn't do nothing. Okay, and you the were beach, living with your mom. My mom. Where's your dad? I don't know. Do you know your father? <laughs> yeah, I know my dad, but he just out there living life. So during that time in your life, he was not in the household with you. No. So no. when did you get to see him? Cause you say you know I, him. So did I, he come I, and visit? I occasionally saw him. The I remember um, around nine years old, he bought like a two trash bags full of gifts on my mm -hmm. birthday at a gas station. We met up at a gas station. But I just say that my to my family is a little toxic. So I feel like he guarded his peace as well because dealing with my mom not always easy. But then dealing with your mom is not easy, but then the kids suffer because then they're not, you know, in his life. Even if he guards his peace, he can say, okay, well, let the baby come over here for the summer, the winter, the whatever, so that you can actually experience. Because as a young girl, you need to know how men need to treat you. And a lot of times young girls know that from how their daddy treats them. Right, and actually I talked to him about that. When I turned about 16, I met up with him at his house and we talked about it, I cried about it, and he was like, suck it up. <laughs> he was like, suck it up. Mm. Um, he was basically like, you know, it's your mom's fault that I wasn't in your life, um, this and that. And I just stopped crying about it because I figured that we ain't gonna get far with a conversation like that. You're right. Yep, so I just had to learn to love myself. And it's three of y'all kids. Are all y'all the same father? No. So Different. are you, are you the only one for him? I am. Okay. But he has he has other kids. I only seen one of them, which is a daughter. She's younger than me. Um, I don't know the other ones. They I live with like him. To, I probably live with the mom, but he okay. probably see them. But he probably in their life and not in mine. Okay. So in your entire life, how many times you seen your dad? Probably like seven or eight because he was in jail as well when I was younger mm. so I just saw I had a little portrait a little um picture of him when he was in jail when he got out I saw him and then when I got older I reached out to him I cussed him out a little bit and um we linked up so not having your dad in your life affected you because your your mom had multiple men because you said you know the other kids are by different men mm -hmm. so your mom had multiple men coming in and out of your life growing up Mm -hmm. um, how did it affect you seeing all these multiple men and did any of these men because you know how sometimes these men can get ahead of themselves seeing a young pretty girl although they're underage in the house um, how did all of this affect you and did anything happen it affected me a lot actually um, um, being with my mom was it was fun up until I turned about 10 10 years old after that it just, everything got a little distant. Cause I was really clingy with my mom, like sleep on her bed, this and that. I'll sleep in the middle with her and her man. So like, I'm just all about my mama. But after a while, she was always telling me to like go in your room, you know, find your own personality, find your own brain. Right. Get, you and know, how old were brain. you at this age? I was age? like 10. Mm -hmm. That's when it all happened. So after she started saying stuff like that, it started getting to my head at that age. Cause I'm like, okay, well, she's telling me I need to use my brain and all this other stuff and I need to think for myself. So I started being in my room a lot more. And um, a lot of, a lot of um, times her, her men did try to persuade me and, try to do inappropriate things. Try to persuade you? Yeah, to do sexual okay. encounters and- Did you? Sometimes, cause I was young, I didn't How know. How old were you when it first started? Maybe around 11, 11, 12. And did your when mom, did you tell your mom about it? I did, but she didn't believe me. Or she did, but she didn't want to, I assume. You know? And you stayed in the house with them at this time? Yeah, I did. You didn't tell nobody else? I so told you... her. I, yeah, I told her. I was scared to tell my brother because I'm thinking, like, my brother probably going to, like, go crazy mm -hmm. or whatever. I told her, but she didn't, like, she didn't care much. Like, she'll try to blackmail me. Like, she'll tell me, oh, I buy your iPhone. I buy your wig or something to make me happy, like, materialistic things because she's very materialistic. A wig at 11? No, that's after um, oh, okay. over the it years. Kept Cause it kept Yeah, it kept happening. So, like, at first it was probably like, I buy you a tablet or I buy you a phone or right. something like that. And I break up with him, but she'll never actually leave them. Like, she'll try to get money out of them rather mm -hmm. than leave them. Then I just stayed there. So, around 16 or 15 is when I actually left 
She kicked me out, but that's when I officially just like. So she kicked you out. So yeah. you probably would have stayed if I she didn't stayed. kick. Yeah, I would have stayed. Even through all of that um, molestation that her mm-hmm. boyfriends was doing to you, you still would have stayed. Yeah, I would have stayed because I I I was that's I was comfortable. I didn't know nothing. I was like. I was scared. It became normal to you. Yeah, yeah, it, it was normalized, especially how she made it seem or how she worded it or how she acted or reacted. Everything was normalized. Did so, you have any boyfriends for yourself at this, these when ages? I was, when I got in ninth grade, I had a first love. But um, actually, when I got in ninth grade and I had that first love, her boyfriend lied on me and my first love to... Um, to talk to my mom and told told her that I snuck him in around six in the morning because the night before he tried to um, do some sexual things with me and I, I declined. So he, I guess he, did that because he was mad. Yeah, he, and, he yeah. Had already, and then she kicked me out. Oh, she, that's when she kicked you yeah. out. Yeah, mm-hmm. he had already been with you a lot of times before that had me. No, no, he he used to come in the kitchen around seven in the morning and get dressed, but I never understood why you come in the kitchen at seven in the morning to get dressed. So um, one one morning around seven in the morning, he whipped his thing out um, by the sink and he was like, suck it. And I was like, no, you know, my mom was asleep, supposedly. And my um, I called my boyfriend after the, the thing happened. And then around 10 in the morning, my mama just started going off on me about the situation like trying to say oh you snuck your boyfriend he wasn't even my boyfriend wasn't even there you told your boyfriend about what he did yeah, and all the different sexual yes. molestations you've yeah, been going through I told through? my boyfriend what was going on mm-hmm. and uh, my mom out of nowhere around 10 in the morning she like oh you try to take my man doom 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 and she even brought up the fact that she knew that my younger sister dad molested me as well Cause I text my friend. I had a best friend at the time, a girl. I text her the situations as well. So I was telling my, I was trying to show my mama proof. So I, I like scrolled. I sent her the, um, I showed her the messages, and I was scrolling down, basically about me and my best friend talking about it. So like the timestamps. Mm-hmm. So she noted. I didn't just text her at ten o'clock, and we didn't just make this up. I texted her around six in the morning and told her exactly when it happened. I was like, girl, you know, boom, 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 just try to do this, boom, boom, boom. So we was talking about it. So I showed that to my mom at ten o'clock when he made them accusations, and then she still didn't believe me. Well, one thing I want to tell you, I. I hate you had to go through that. You don't deserve that, you know. And you have to find a place where you can, you know, either even forgive your mom and forgive the situation so that you can grow. And I know you you understand that, but it's not easy, you know. So you got to try to figure out a way to tap into that forgiveness phase, which it takes God, to be honest with you. That's the only reason you're able to forgive somebody as far as the East is from the West. So you have to be able to tap into God in order to get there. But I'm telling you, write a letter, you know, do something to try to exalt the fact that I'm exiting that out of my life and trash and I have. it. You know what I mean? Throw I it have. away, burn it, throw it in a bottle, throw I it in a river. I had a journal because yeah. I went into DHR and all of that, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> you know, I told her that I'm not mad at her. I love her. Yeah. I love her wholeheartedly. You That's know? it. she been through her own issues. Exactly. You know, so she had to raise herself. She saw her um, mother get killed by the hands of her father at so age of 15. There you go. So she's unhealed. And there it's you okay. Go. So, you know, don't excuse her behavior because if you want to heal, you got to put in that effort to heal. But also, I still love you and I just got to love you from a distance because I, I can't let you tear me apart. You know? Yeah. yeah. Well, man, I hate you had to go through that. Uh, um, and, you, I don't want to just stay there, though. Okay, because the only other thing I wanted to bring up, because with all of this molestation that you went through, how did that affect your adult life, as in your promiscuity? Well, um, she's just 20. Meaning, like, after all of that happened, because with all of that, that stuff was forced onto you. Now, when you go on your own, are you going to be, because I'm, you know, you thinking about other kids, are you going out here and being promiscuous with all these different men because you don't, because of what you just right. went through? Because or, a lot of people do that. Right. Right. Or, a lot of you know, how did you. Over sexualized because of situation. Because of like situation, that. or did yeah, you no, pull back? I'm how very, did you. Yeah, I'm very much very protective over myself, my body, my energy, all of that because of those circumstances. I, I don't want to deal with anything I don't have to. But yeah. after that, you, you ended up getting raped, though. I did. I did. Because I was like, it was one year after I got out of my mom's house. So I just was living the life. I was 17. I was with producers backstage thinking I was living the life. Um, it was my 16th 16, 16 birthday. It was the day after or the day of. 
Um, that unfortunate situation happened. And y'all was just moving too fast, thinking that everything was glitter and gold, and it wasn't. They was grown men. And one thing about it, like I say, you went through those reason, through those situations for a reason. Some other little young girl might be out there going through the same thing. You know what I mean? And to hear you be able to talk about it and see that you can come through it and make it and be resilient like you have been, being that you've gotten into modeling, being that you've started your own brand, being that you're a person that, you look, you've traveled all the way to Dallas. You flew in from uh, Alabama, you know, like like that's courageous. So I, commend, I, I compliment you uh, for, I admire you for doing it. You know what I mean? So I think that's the most important thing is that you, you, you express that in a way so some other little young girl out there that may be 11 or 12 mm-hmm. or And 13, I just say, I just say, just be careful. Think before you speak. Don't be gullible. Because, like I said, all glitter is not gold. And um, watch out for yourself. Because if nobody got you, you do and God do. Come on now. That's all that matters. Amen. Uh, amen. I wanna, yeah, amen. I, I really, like I said, um, I want to uh, just ask you about just, and let's go for you too. Uh, uh, y'all heard of Boosie? I'm going yeah. into this phase now. Have y'all heard of Boosie, Boosie Badass? Yeah. 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 Y'all heard of Giddy, Giddy Blue? Y'all heard of him? Yeah. He here today, ain't he? Yeah. Yeah. Do he look like Boozy Bad No. You know what? They kind of look like. <laughs> they look like they could be like that boy Getty Blue, my shit. <laughs> Getty, thank you for coming on the set, what man. Do I don't wait a break, but it, 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 actually, it's the other guy, Blue. And it, uh, what's the other blue guy that he getting Young into blue. it? Young, Young Blue. Young Blue? Blue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, oh. Let's go to him. I'll just give it him him. <laughs> but <Okay>. anyway, <laughs> Young Blue and him keep getting into it, going back and forth right now. And there's been some, uh, some stuff right now where they've been trolling each other online. And you being in the in the rap game, you know how far is too far when people start trolling each other? And you know the situation where his brother and them went to Empire behind his back and signed a deal uh, went behind Boosie's back. You know they took and did a side deal and kind of excluded him out, signed his name on paperwork. And family has been broken up. They've gotten into it, got our cars to hurt each other as brothers because of this deal. Um, how far is too far? I mean, I think too far is only like when somebody get hurt or something. I I can't tell like two grown men how to handle their situations and they beef and you know they disappoints disappointments with each other. But um, I think it's just regular to go at a nigga on the internet these days because wow. they ain't answering the phone, you know. And that's Boosie, that's Boosie badass, and and Young Blue. <laughs> Why you even want him to be quiet? Like, let him speak his well, mind, think, say what he got to say. I think Young Blue been stepping out a little bit, you know, well, putting it should. on his ass. You he know should. what I'm saying? He should. So they both been kind of doing this tit for tat thing. And it's a lot of money involved. Did he owe Boosie some money? They both was, it, yeah, he owed Boosie some money. He did a side deal and did something with, with Empire. And then he, Empire Ghazi, who was the CEO of Empire, got into it with Boosie about it. And this caused a lot of ruckus. And, and they didn't we could get him. a lot of music out of it. I believe a lot of that hold, hold back the music when it come down to okay. mental. I did like I would love some. I liked his music better when he first came out. Like, I ain't even gonna cap. Like, his music now, like, no shade or nothing like that. I'm really not connecting with it. I don't know if it's because he may, like, been focused on his money. What is it, Moon Boy University or something like that? But, um, yeah, I will say, like, I don't, I don't want him to be distracted by the beef and slip on his art. Okay, Blue, I want, I, 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 get it, Blue. I want you to come around and just speak for a second. Um, just really, uh, you can come in the middle of those two, two young ladies, those beautiful young ladies, and uh, just talk about it. Because I know you being a one that's been a, in the rap game, you got to speak to the mic. So your hand, oh, put, sure. put your mic over right there. There you go. Or, or, yeah, right there. Just turn it because I don't want the camera to miss it. Uh, there you go. Right there. Okay. Yeah, I want to get it. I just want to get your, your, your. Yeah, just stand behind him right there, like, and, and turn that mic to you a little bit there. There you go. Well, get it blue. Get it blue. He's in the building. What's yeah, up, man? man? Y'all giving man. you hell, wasn't I? I brought you in this whole man. <laughs> yeah, uh, man. So, what did you think about it with the boozy? Have you seen that situation going on? What yeah, do you think man. about the the fact going back and forth on this on this beef thing? Man, we can call each other and talk. Whenever we start exploring these feelings online, we distancing ourselves for being personal again. And it'll never really be the same. 
No, the relationship can never be severed. Yeah, it'll never be the same. I, I think I saw one of them was talking about one of them. I think Boosie was talking about. I guess Blue got a retarded child or something. But See Blue what I mean? brought it up first. Blue brought it you know up. Oh, she, she know about it. She been. Yeah, yeah I be well. on the shade room. Shout out to the shade room. <laughs> Shout out to the shade room. <laughs> yeah, Boosie brought up. I mean, Blue brought up um, Boosie child first about him having like raggedy ass houses in the back of his mansion or whatever. Salute to Boosie because he still provides for his kids. You know what I'm saying? I, I think his mansion is dope and I've never I seen those so. houses, but they dope. Oh, saying, as well. they were, saying they were paper thin or something. Yeah. Oh, oh, so yeah, that's why yeah, Boosie came yeah, after him because yeah. he went for the kids yeah. first. So I don't got nothing to say about but that. Whenever it get personal like that though, we I'm done talking. It you know, it too much energy. I seen Boosie on Vlad where he said that he said something about him being a young boy on the song and then they stopped. You know what I mean? Like he said something. I said something, and then it, you know because it can go too far. Yeah, it'll go too far. And and he he didn't even talk about it like him and him doing anything to each other. He more so looked at the fact that how many other people outsiders that would kill each other behind that beef. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And OG Pyru came on. He said the same thing when I was saying I like to see Kendrick and you know Drake go back and forth a little bit. He said, but you're not thinking about how many people can die. That just don't like you know, just riding for Drake, just mm-hmm. riding for Kendrick. Yeah, I told him. Yeah, that's my boy. Oh my gosh! Shout yeah, out OG Pyro. Shout out to oh, I told him. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's true enough. It, it's like you, it can go too far, and, and people I'm die. Saying. People die behind n- nothing. Fans no. at that. Yeah, they yeah. They will go berserk. But then I also like I told him. This the rap game, baby. I ain't never seen it happen without it. That's what infuse it. Yeah. That's what make people you know like it more. Contra- what they say, controversy sales. It's yeah, unfortunate, yeah. but they say controversial, said, you know what I'm saying? So, but certain shit though, bro, you just like it. Just some stuff go too far. Wow, uh, I, I I say I'm a big fan of Boosie. You know, uh, R.I.P. Pimp C. That he kind of you know yeah. him in uh, uh, Mel and Turk. You know all of that whole. I love the I love the way the South roll when it come down to our uh, you know our young right. men that right. that really take this entrepreneur to another level. That's right. And uh, I think Boosie doing a great job trying to figure it out. I like the new For song sure. that he did with Sir Charles Jones, that blues song. I might check it's it out. It's really R and B. you really gotta. You really gotta check that out. You know what I mean. You really gotta listen to it. it, it it's dope because I feel. And it's Sir Charles. Matter of fact, I text Sir Charles Jones. Uh, um, uh, I, I text him and uh, told him I love the song. He was like, "Yeah, I got to come back on there so we can promote the song." You know what I mean? Um, you know, I just know that music is healing, guys. Yeah. And 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 I think we we only using it now just to infuse and inflame chaos. When we can do some things, you know, that was a song that Michael Jackson them song called "Heal the World." There's, we need some more of those. We need some stuff that, I mean, I like J Cole. I mean, we gotta have something to try to bring some sense back into this. That thing right. where he stepped back and said, "I don't want to do this beef thing with y'all." Yeah. I think that was dope because it, it showed you you can you can you don't have to. Right. You can do things however you want to in music, and it don't make you no punk either. Because right. a nigga will still do something to you and still not want to talk about it. Most right. niggas that gonna do it ain't gonna be talking anyway. Right. They're gonna be doing. Right. Am I right? I'm on that old school type <laughs> shit. Though. Most of gonna pull up on you. Yeah, see what I'm saying? <laughs> on my side, man. I, uh, another thing I want to talk about is um, Benny Siegel. Benny Siegel, man, he been going crazy. Uh, him and Jay Z. Jay Z. Uh, I, I had. Uh, D Haven, D Haven Jess was on the show about a week ago. Jay Z boy. Yeah, he flew in from uh, New York to come on Boss Talk, and when he did, you know, he's talking about what happened with him and Jay Z, you know. And then I listened to his other story, Calvin Klein, you know, uh, what happened with him and Jay Z. And now, you know, Benny Siegel just told an old story about court appearances and stuff. With what happened with him and Jay Z, and Jay Z is excelling and moving up. Do you think these guys are? Are upset because he's moving up, or, or you know, because he's he's moving different in order to sustain that 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 financial status, or do you feel like um, what do you feel? What how do you feel about it? Man, I don't even talk to certain people no more. Oh, so sometimes you can evolve. You know, it just it just come with you know what you got going ain't compatible with my success. The shit that you do, I love you to death, but I done figured it out. Far as like me, I don't know. I ain't figured you out. You my boy, but that little stuff you do, I, I can't. It'll hinder me. Love you to death. Oh, I see you, I'm gonna shake hands with you. And if you really need me, if the Lord put it on my heart, I'll be there for you. But other than that, bro, I gotta keep going. 
I got a family, and like I said, if we if it was meant for us to climb together, we'd be climbing together. But it won't. It wasn't meant for everybody to go with you. Wow! I, like I said, I just see how many. I think uh, you know Emory and Tata and them still over there with Jay. You know, I've been really researching that here lately. I went to the Marcy Projects where they grew up at right. and interviewed D. Haven oh, in New York. I, I be on it, man. That's and I, I and uh, yeah, yeah. But I had to go and really see what it was all about for us in the projects. It's done changed a lot, but it's still the same layout. Right. And the thing I I just can say, man, is that you know when it come down to Jay, you know. De Haven said he hadn't really did nothing in the hood, never did put nothing. He said Tracy Martin put a park back over there, you know, for the kids and stuff. But he talked like Jay hadn't. I know Jay owned a lot of different things, brought the nets and all kind of stuff. But what has he done in that inner circle, in that community? Right. He said something like he don't want to give people a reason to stay in that community. But I don't know about that. I, I mean, people are going to come up in that community. I think there should be something out there to try to help them. <laughs> he, might, he might already own that motherfucker. I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Cause you'd hear about it. you can't have yeah. nothing, bro. Yeah. When, you, yeah. when you're on his level, you writing taxes. All yeah. somebody related to him, they're gonna talk. Yeah. Think about it. So I think he just pretty much just kind of pulled up and just kind of threw with the situation. Just said fuck it. Yeah. Cause D Haven still got a spot over there. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. That's right? in Brooklyn. Yeah, it's in Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff in Brooklyn, man. Um, but no, I, I just know that Benny Siegel been going crazy right now about just coming out the raps and should. I think he's forgiving him. Should people let things go like when you are in these record under these record labels and then all of a sudden, you know, you see somebody excel and the record label, you know, every every one of them do the same thing. Man, you know what? You know what? I grew up watching Big Crit blow up. Yeah. I used to go to I think Blockbuster on 8th Street where he worked at and used to go on Friday Saturday nights. Uh to these little spots in Meridian and watch Big Crip perform. And I remember the last time me seeing him in Meridian, I think it was at the Wessler Schoolhouse. Not the Wessler, uh, I can't think of the name of the place, but anyway, I was looking at Crip and he was just standing there and the light shining on him. I'm like, he finna blow up. And it was like, he dropped a couple more tracks and Crip was out of here. And we used to send messages to each other on uh, MySpace. But to just see him blow, I'm not gonna lie. At first, I used to write diss tracks to him, <laughs> <laughs> but I'd be, I'd be like, "Oh, he ignoring me. He's right. not." And I ain't. You used heard. to write diss tracks to Big Crit. Yeah. yeah. Why? I, we used to, like I said, I that I, was your partner. <laughs> I grew up watching Crit. Like I, it's early on story. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm. I was literally there for as like that dude rap. He from that's his grandma and that's his uncle. Oh, he just dropped his mixtape. But, like, whenever Crip blew up, I was still inboxing him, like, because we knew he was going to blow. So I'm inboxing Crip, like, hey, you ready for me? <laughs> and what did he say? He, the, I swear to God, I've been trying to find this message. Because to me, it means, like, he sent me a long message. He only sent me one message. I sent him, like, 99. ETA. But you that you only, he sent you a long message. Yeah, I sent Crit like ninety nine messages. And he he sent you one. What did he say? He's only sent me one. And he was like, "What up, Ken folk?" And he was like, "I'm trying to make it myself." This right before he just took off, he said, "I'm trying to make it myself. Let me get my foot in the door." And you know, that was twenty years ago. That was two thousand. That was two thousand four. Wow. That was two thousand four. But and like y'all was really friends. No, nah, not like that. But I'm from Meridian. And he knew you wanted to rap. Yeah, I was one of them guys under him for like, just like, he was one of the ones that was ahead. He wasn't by himself. Crit, Modi, uh, Poe. You got these squads, these guys who I look at as the local hip hop pioneers. These was the guys I grew up watching rap. I went to their shows and seen them on the streets. Like, I know these guys. Never really seen Crit on the streets, but I saw him at work and saw him perform. He wasn't that type of guy. He was really focused on his shit. He dropped a mixtape, I think, See Me On Top. When See Me On Top 2, to part 2 drop, it was over with. And that's when I'm like, hey man, fuck with me. Like, hey, I'm trying to get my foot in the door. That was 20 years ago. How, pr how proud are you to see where he's come with Oh, it, co it came with maturing. Like I said early on, I'm like, oh, he not responding. 
Oh, he doing a track with Bun B. Oh, <laughs> but once that's you, when you dissed him. Oh, I'm right now. I remember the verse. You know what I'm saying? What did you oh say, God. that nigga? Nigga, if I catch you and I and I do uh, you and I, I said, oh, oh my God, oh. Uh, I be switching lane with your man getting brain. Bandana showing so you know what I claim. Bang, bang, gang. Gang, bang, like gang, but I'm not flame. Ain't. He thought that he was fresh, so I gave the boy a stain. <laughs> I said, oh. Uh, yeah, in the studio you do your thing, but in the streets you a motherfucking lame. Foul them so hard, they gonna take them out the game. But I was talking about crit. Yeah. But I never dropped it. You didn't drop, drop never it. Never dropped it. I wrote that track like 21 years ago. Because you felt like he left you. Yeah, in a certain way, because I really, this is, since I was, since 1999. You really wanted to rap. I really wanted to rap. And to see him like, you do this too? You make beats too? You really for real? And he took off. So early on, I was like, fuck crit. Yeah. But as, as I matured, in life, you go through things and you go back and look at how you view shit and you like, hey, hey, my boy, you a legend. Yeah. To me, you the biggest out of the area that then did it. Twisted Genius, my cousin. Okay. I'm always ride with Twisted before anyone in the game. But Crit, that's a whole nother level. Yeah. I watched, anytime I watch a video, I'm getting chill bumps. Nigga, I used to see you at the store working. I know your stepmom, your stepbrother. I went to school with your stepbrothers. Your stepmom, Tr shout out to Tracy. Shout out to Miss Tracy. Oh, like, really? Yeah, like I know his stepmom real well. I didn't even realize when I was down there doing them interviews and stuff in Meridian, showing love to the city. I didn't even know Crit was from Meridian. Crit from Meridian. Crit I didn't from, even know that. I was just down there showing love. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Shout I didn't out know to that Crit. nigga. I didn't know that nigga from down there. I knew he was from Mississippi. But I didn't know I'd have shot at that nigga out when I was in Meridian. I just shot him out in a new song I did. You did? Yeah, I shot him out. What's like, the name of the song? Bread Truck. It's coming Ooh. soon. It's going to be on the Southern Bread Hospitality Project. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, That's what I like to hear. Yeah. yeah I, I can tell you right now, man, uh, I love your vibe every time you yeah, come bro, through, man. Yeah, bro, for sure, bro. For real, for real, man. And shout out to Crit. I ain't got shout no problem with Crit. Oh, we Crit, love man. Crit. Hey, nigga, we this love the Crit. South, nigga. I ain't especially playing no me, game by Crit. Especially me being in Texas now. And I'm riding or stop somewhere, and somebody bumping crit. I'm like, Shh, it'll no, be chill Chris, bumps. Chris got them, the, got them, oh, he them got Texas them, vibes. Oh, it's when I write, I'm thinking about guys like that. To hear Kendrick mention crit name, I'm like, shit, that's like, heavy. Like that's heavy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, okay, so um, I gotta ask, did y'all see that P Diddy gave back the key to New York City? No. Damn. He, you know, he had the key to New York City. He had to give it back because of oh. the video and the way how everything's going on. He can't just keep this. You can't do that. Damn. They probably, I don't know if they made him give it back or he just gave it back of man, his own accord. Man, need to sit down and leave that shit alone, man. Ain't nobody worried about that key, man. You better get your legal uh, get, get no. your team together. Prob they probably <laughs> definitely made him give it back rather than damn, him damn giving it back. Because I feel hey, like he so uh, conceited the fact that he not going to give it back himself. Mm. Like hey. somebody got to make him give it back. Some motherfuckers ain't going to give you that key back. Mm. Really? Some motherfuckers ain't coming out that key. No, you can't get Baby, that key. Hell no, nah, you can't keep it my key. Yeah. Because a lot of the wars and stuff, they going to be trying to strip him of a lot of stuff. So how y'all feel about um seeing him drag Cassie? Yeah, that's kind of. the elevator, the hallway. The hallway. She was trying to make it to the elevator. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, man, it was it was in 2016. I feel like, for, from a man perspective, it was more to that they stayed together till 2020 or 2022. You know what I'm saying? It was probably an argument, but, they, but you hear what I just said? Them folks riding around in cars together, jumping ID, Grammy Awards together, yeah. like that shit. It never happened. Have you ever been drug or um, done like that? Yeah, but drug, the you fact time, is, then. it still wasn't right. No, it, it wasn't right. right. It wasn't oh, right. right. He had, Cause he, I think he punched her. No, he kicked he, her and everything. I'm not yeah. definitely not for what he done, mm -hmm. but I'm just saying. Again, I always explain this like this: Who dropped it? CNN. Why they drop it? Because of the situation and the atmosphere, they're trying to figure out ways to make him look this certain character, so mm -hmm. y'all will be able to put him on the cross. You know what I mean? So, what is the hidden agenda behind what people are doing to try to figure out how to make this man's character? you know, pretty much blemished. You got to understand there's a hidden agenda. 
They not worried about Cassie. You think the government right. worried about they Cassie? They don't give a fuck about her. You think they worried about uh, uh, Diddy in a way? They just want to take. They want their money back. No. Uh, and I, I know the real. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't. They just want their money back. They want yeah. the credibility back from people who are empowered that they don't feel they need to be empowered anymore. Or if you went and done something. You see what I'm saying? Or if you went and done something that they don't agree with, it couldn't. It might not even been a crime. Just you didn't say yes to a situation or no to a situation that the big brother almighty wanted you to. Then now he starts to try to build a case. If they start looking into your life, if they start looking into your life, your life, my life, they can come up with ways to make us look like, man, why did he do that? Right. And then right. put it out there in a certain way. So I don't think, I think it's bigger than Diddy. I right. really do. And I, I never spoke on that in that in that magnitude, but I'm going in right now. You know what I'm saying? I really do think it's bigger than Diddy. I think it's, I think it was bigger than Bill Cosby. I think it's bigger than, uh, I think Jay-Z, whoever they can find that ain't, they feel like, uh, you know, he's, I, conspiracy yeah, theory. I can't control you. You're not keeping that money. Because they keep saying Jay-Z going down yeah. next. <laughs> yeah, but, the money is the position. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But how y'all feel? Do you agree with that? Yeah. That is the way they look at it? But it, on a deeper level for like, you got us, you got you got people, and you got entertainers. Mm -hmm. Then you got they big dog. And then it, it they big dog got somebody big dog. violated somewhere. And you know, they keep him. saying, or they keep mentioning that Jay-Z going down next, Jay-Z going down next, but I never heard nothing about Well, he was at the Diddy party. We don't know what well, was on them Everybody was at the Diddy party. But we don't like, know what else they didn't show us why, on them tapes. They keep, they keep just... Did you hear what but, I just said? What? They had 200 and some cameras at that house. We don't know what's in them on them other tapes with whoever was in there. Whoever they picked to take take out, take out it might be something on one of them cameras that they picked up and they just holding it. You know, I just, yeah. I don't look at family matters the same. point... Family matters. I don't look at family matters the same. Oh, you heard about that? I heard about that. I don't look what at that. What happened? I don't look Say, at what? that same. What happened? What happened? I missed it. Somebody Man. walked in on one of them boys wanting to be pros yeah. in him. Um, yeah, yeah. Say Cud walked in and he in there. Uh, say, you know. Did it. Say Diddy was doing the Diddy bop on him, man. On Family Matter guy. Yeah, say, say, say the daddy walked well, out. Well, no, the son is with, uh, with the, the the fake son. He's with. Hey, uh, you see that man? What? Yeah, like, out and put like he just like it's official. He like, with, he with that, my with life. that boy girl. What? what? Yeah, Sydney. Sydney Stone. Let me look it yeah. up. Oh, yeah. I know. I said Family Matter a, a skit, but no, Eddie Wimbledon. No, no, no. Eddie, yeah. Huh? Where's my Eddie Wimbledon? Right. I'm I'm finna look at him now. That's his fake name, Winslow. Oh, he a little good boy. Call me Eddie. <laughs> Who y'all? What's the real? What's the real name? Say Carl needed that money though. Mm. Say Carl needed that money. Say Carl did. Ain't been on TV. Say since. did it. Say ain't nothing like a man want that bread or something like that. Damn. Yo, yeah, like. Y'all said. But the it make you look at people like, damn man. In family like, matters. Everything yeah. ain't what it seen. You said the son, right? That's him right there. That guy Darius right there. Macari. That's him. Damn. Eddie. Okay, I yeah. got gotcha. you. So he did some fruity. Mm. Oh, he. <laughs> They oh broad day, broad day, putting kissing tongue kiss all that like. It's on video. Yeah. Oh, no. no. oh, with Diddy? No, it just <laughs> <laughs> they gonna put Diddy everywhere. Yeah, they put Diddy right. everywhere. No Diddy. So I gotta ask this other question, right? Uh oh, shit. um, this lady, she her name is Alexis Bellino. She says she bangs her man four times a day, every day. Damn. Do you believe that? Not happening. <laughs> she said not happening. I mean, four not times every a day, day, but it's possible. four times a day. It's possible every like every two days. <laughs> Maybe I mean I ain't. I ain't she I said. She know. said. Oh. She told him she needs a um, vagina rejuvenation. Wow. Just because of how much they go at. Do it. he require that or do? You don't know. That's the only, only detail been she gave. They only been together a year. Baby ought to be good for every weekend. day. Every day. That's crazy. I'm not even gonna allow that. Every day, mm -hmm. like well, it's, probably, it's probably not him. It's probably her. She's a sex addict. Yeah. Okay, it's possible. That's what yeah. I'm saying. But yeah. that could still make your dick sore or your 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 what the fuck. I like how they girl talk, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, can make, it can make anything right. like that's crazy to me. Like four times a day is too much. Four times. Yeah, I you ought to be good for the four weekend. times. At least she, one day it was two times. One day it was one time. So she's lying. She it's said, not four times she said on four a dot times every a day. day. That's a that's mm -hmm. an obvious lie. That sounds so, like we that's don't an obvious lie. Hey, so some drugs. 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 Drugs.
I mean, I don't know. Every day? Be I didn't real. say every day. No, but I'm saying every day. So a man doesn't... On, you know, it, it, it depends on how the universe treats me in that one day. <laughs> every it's day, like in that, I said in that one day. I said, every day. You every ought to be good for, for the weekend. That, every day. That one day I hit you four times, you good for the weekend. <laughs> so, so you're not doing <laughs> you that. You sound crazy. You straight. Yeah, you ought to be sore. <laughs> you ought to be straight. Hamburger helper, uh, cook. I mean, first of all, you I think it's healthy to not even... Like, you should take a break. You should yeah. take no a certain. break. There's no point of, cause what what like intimacy or like what build up is y'all gonna have or what like I'm not looking forward to nothing. Well, let me let me just what? let me just stop you right now. What that pill that you had? Let's pull that pill up. That make okay. That make make certain men think you can go four times a day. Oh, um, but I can't. When you, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Like, yeah. See how it depends that, on that, how the day going. Yeah, yeah. Like, like what's you going putting, on? You putting that? If you yeah. putting that kind of stuff out there, a man um. that's on on uh, he he get in your DM. Yeah, I'm hitting that four five times that's a day. That's crazy. Y'all can't even. But y'all can shop my merch <laughs> on my link. <laughs> Instagram. Okay, Lakira. O K A Y L A K. E-R-A. Well, what about the other? Didn't you have something else? Yeah, I got a calendar. calendar for you. you got a if calendar. If y'all want to keep up with the days as if y'all care. Is it pretty pink? Oh, Let me see the oh. pictures on the inside. Okay. What it, month? It, 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 it September. My birthday is September the 9th. Okay, oh. let me go to September real quick then. Oh, uh, what they is, bring This is February. They you know, them, you, this is Valentine's. So. They bring them calendars back. So which month is the sexiest one you, you think you've got in there? I don't September. know. I love, oh, Jesus. September. I love them all. Let's see. September. July. She has got a big head on there in July. August. September. This September. It's even Beyonce. September is the month. Fully clothed. Fully clothed. Fully clothed. Ain't nothing popping in September. He said, ain't no. What's popping in July? July. No, that's April, girls. All right, here we go. June. That was the big forehead, he said. July is just giving California girl. Y'all know the vibes. When your birthday? July. I don't know. Don't tell her when, when your my birthday. birthday. July. That's God damn. Let me go to November. July. God damn. When's your birthday? November. Oh, okay. I'm a Scorpio. You Scorpio supposed to put the sexiest one. Okay, that ain't sexy. Is it? No. no Shop that's... the merch, you guys. <laughs> no, that's dope, man. How did you come up with your own calendar? Um. Well, I've been a model since I was like um seven. And I love being. Wait a minute, who camera. guided you into being a model? Because you've been raped while doing that. My time. mama. So she did a she lot. She wanted to control my damn life. So she did some no, good stuff. No, she did do some good stuff. She did do some good things, but I did not want to stop eating candy or drinking soda. But she pushed you. <laughs> yeah, she did. Okay. So now see, we got to hear that yeah, part Yeah. So too. when I started modeling, mm-hmm. so I was young. I was in magazines, Old Navy, mag- all type of things, you know. Um, and when I got, when I turned 16 and then when I turned 18, I took it more seriously, independent, instead of being on a contract. And I just went from there. I found my love and passion for massage therapy. And I started selling merch, because why not? It's fun, you know? You wow. want to see me when you go home. Good for it. you. Good for you. You figured it out. Miss Jessica, man, you you listen to all this, all this uh, signifying job that they got going on no, right here. No, it's signifying stamped. Job. It's stamped. Yeah, I know you're going to stick with, with with your partners here from Alabama and Mississippi. Yeah, baby. You know what I'm saying? Check it, man. We in here. Check it, man. No, man, it's just dope, man, to have you guys on the set um, running down through there on different current topics. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, I, and, I, and I like to do it like that. Just, Miss Jessica shut it down the other week. We had talked about Cassie and stuff. So this is something we do all the time, and it's just a good vibe mm-hmm. to have you guys down here from out of state like that, man, carrying the weight like that, man. Yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Talk, baby. Oh, hey, hey, already, it's always man. an unpleasant. Say, man, it's always a treat when two hustlers and two badass niggas meet. You know what I'm saying? And two badass. Hey, man, hey, look, look, I'm just talking to my boy, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, y'all dope as hell too, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, it's just man, like I said, man, Mr. Jamaica, what do you think about him? You think we shut it down? Yes, sir. How can we get a hold of you, man? People need to hear you hey, from you. Listen, check this out, man. Go to Freeway Records, LLC.com. Go to Freeway Millionaires Club. Shout out to Galen. Yeah. yeah. Gym, Go to gemsit.org. Order your water, man. Uh, shout out to Big Gip and Zaga Zaga. Yeah. Shout out to Big Gip, yeah. man. Yeah. Shout Galen out to Shout Billy. out to Gip Goodies. Uh, oh. Get it blue on Instagram. Get it blue on Facebook. Get it blue TikTok. Yeah. Go on Spotify. Run that Buffalo Bill up. 
Yeah. Summa Summa Day and nobody dropping June the 30th, 2024. And, and Big Crit, go on, okay, go on, come on back on home album. and get with Get It Blue and give him that feature. Go on, give him that feature. Let's turn him up. Shout out yeah, Crit, man. Shout, shout, out, big crit. Shout, out, shout out Big Crit, man. What about you, young lady? How, how can people get a hold of you? Oh, okay. You can get a hold of me on Instagram, O K A Y L A K E R A. You feel me? All my links right there. I'm a massage therapist, the best, the sexiest. So you can find me in the bio. Um, there you go, and you can shop the merch. You feel me? Shout out to Freeway Records, Boss Talk. You know Shout what I'm saying? Freeway. Yes. You travel and do massages? I travel for so sure. So you up here working in Dallas? You working flight. now? Yeah, I'm in Dallas. Oh, oh is you working? Birmingham. You know the vibe. Is you working? I'm working. Nothing for free. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Alright, so let's get it. Just to get <laughs> down in here. Let me let me hear where you're from. Watch what's, up, what's up, y'all? It's Miss Joska, aka well, Shadow. What's, your, what's your handles? We right here at M-S-J-E-S-S-E-C-A on Instagram, TikTok. Make sure y'all stream that bad girl era. Mm. Mixtape mm. Black American Man. Dream Girl era. This is what we in, baby. Miss Jessica music. got Dot com. Hey, man. <laughs> Thank you guys, man. Let's go, man. Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talking. Hey, yeah.